People are expecting to hear about the Nintendo Switch 2 this week, potentially at the Nintendo shareholder investor meeting thing. They do these all year long at the end of quarters. And this one coming up on May 7th is extra special because not only is this the end of the prior fiscal year and we get all the update on the full year of sales data for Switch and various video games and the revenue from theme parks and mobile games and all that. They also give projections for the upcoming year. And some people are expecting Nintendo to possibly have one line. That's about it. R roughly one line mention of the next platform if it's going to come out in this current fiscal year because, hey, they need to let investors know what's going on. Well, thanks to some sleuthing, done by a fellow YouTuber called Nintendo Forecast. And as you see here, I am subscribed to his channel and I have seen quite a few of his videos, including this one right here where he talks about will they announce the Switch shoe he put up yesterday. We need to focus in on the fact that it looks like Nintendo has already told a bunch of investors not only about Nintendo Switch 2, but also about their plans to transition to it. So that is quite fascinating. And you might go, well, how can that be? We haven't even had the financial briefing. They definitely didn't tell investors last February. Well, this is where we need to go back in time a little bit, all the way back to Gamescom of 2023. If you remember back then, something kept getting uttered by a bunch of people who reportedly saw a demo, and that was something happening in the month of March. Now, if you fast forward, obviously, all the way to the beginning of February, you'd know that Nate the Hate and others that had sources, these developer sources, were all indicating that, yes, we were going to see something about the platform in March, at least that seemed to be the indication that, hey, we're going to hear about it, we're going to hear about it. Obviously, we know quickly after that it ended up getting, quote unquote, delayed behind the scenes. All right, fine. This is all rumors, rumors on top of rumors on top of rumors. What we're actually going to talk about today, though, isn't a rumor. You see, Nintendo did something they don't always do. And this is very, very, very fascinating that Nintendo did this because they have what's called a corporate governance meeting. And they kind of do these very randomly. If we look over here on the official Nintendo IR website, you can see they have IR information management policy, corporate governance. They don't do these very often. They concern the principles concerning corporate governance. At Nintendo, we strive to maximize long-term corporate value. Okay, this looks like some, some general policies. And here's the thing. They ended up doing a corporate governance back on, what's this say? March 27th. Remember what I said about Switch 2 details in March? Well, they did this corporate governance report all the way back in March. And it turns out this corporate governance report includes details not only on Nintendo's next platform and that they are, you know, about how they're going to handle transition, about who they actually told about this. And this really goes to support the idea Nintendo may not say anything at this upcoming investors meeting because all the investors that need to know already do and they were told in the month we thought it might get revealed in all right so let's go ahead and see what we have going on here here's the corporate governance report you see march 27 2024 uh yeah nintendo we tried to maximize long-term continuous corporate values this is sort of a repeat of what you saw on the prior page uh and there's this disclosure here but as we scroll down there's going to be something that comes up uh, a little bit later. And this is about the details of the dialogue they've had with shareholders. So let's just start reading this. Let's start right here. All right. Dialogue based IR activities conducted in the 2024 fiscal year. In addition to a corporate management policy briefing and three financial results briefings. Again, I told you this, they do this. The company conducted approximately, this is in addition to those things, 400 individual and group meetings combined with shareholders and institutional investors. The company also attended conferences and other events held by securities companies. Furthermore, the company held individual SR and ESG meetings, actively creating opportunities for dialogue with a broad range of institutional investors, both in Japan and outside of Japan, fund managers, analysts, ESG specialists, proxy voting representatives, and others to further their understanding of the company. Now, again, this is stuff they've done in the entirety of the last fiscal year. Now, looking at this, it says the main dialogue and topic and matters of interest to the investors. This is what they talked about specifically with investors. Topics covered <clears throat> include financial results overview and business outlook. Okay, that's pretty basic. Business momentum of Nintendo Switch. Of course, they have to do that. But here's the line. 
the next game console and business impact of the hardware transition. And then they also go over IP strategy, including the visual content business, capital policy, ESG, sustainability. And they go over some other stuff is uh, aware about their entertainment uh, stuff, movies, all of that. But the important part is like it says, as a state of the business since the launch of 2017, our ROE, ROA, and PBR and an indicator of stock price have improved. So the stock has gone up all throughout the Switch's life cycle. But again, the important line here, and again, this is Nintendo literally saying out loud that they talked about the next game console and the business impact of the harbor transition privately with up to 400 individuals and in group meeting sessions with investors. Now, this, again, is very important because what it means is Nintendo has already told likely all of their biggest investors, because, again, they don't list who they specifically, what individuals and what companies they specifically met with and talked to, but Nintendo has already talked with all of their biggest investors about the Nintendo Switch 2 within the last calendar year. They've also told them about, well, <laughs> their plans to transition. So there's a couple of things we could take away from this. And this to me is something that we need to be uh, paying attention to because everyone's trying to say, hey, Nintendo hasn't confirmed there's going to be anything. Nintendo hasn't said anything. Nintendo, Nintendo, Nintendo. Well, this is literally their governance.pdf for March 27th. It They have to make this public. They don't have to make what was discussed, like, you know, specifics. But Nintendo has literally said they told investors about their next game console and the business impact of the hardware transition. Nintendo has now officially, publicly confirmed their next game console is on the way and they already talked about it with major investors and they talked about how the business will be impacted by their transition now what do we take away from this as general consumers one finally finally we can say nintendo has confirmed this next game console is coming because they had to tell or felt they needed to tell investors about it on top of that they are talking to investors about the business impact of the hardware transition they did this within the last fiscal year right this is with the fiscal year ending the calendar year of march of 2024 so what does that mean it means nintendo told investors that the business is about to be impacted by the transition to the next system that means Nintendo is literally in the works to transition to the next system. Not that we didn't already assume that. I think all of us can logically look at the lineup this year and go, well, Nintendo has uh, basically published a game every single month of this calendar year. And I know they skipped April, but then they got two games here in May. What we need to remember is that Nintendo doesn't have anything so far scheduled in the second half of the year. And none of the games released this year are probably what Nintendo would call mega sellers right there's not like a 10 million seller that nintendo has released at this point maybe paper mario thousand year door will shock us maybe luigi's mansion 2 hd will surprise us especially with how well luigi's mansion 3 sold i don't know but right now i think it's safe to say there isn't really a 10 million seller on slate for this year pokemon legends is the biggest announcement this year and pokemon legends za is slated for 2025 so nintendo again just to reiterate and i know this feels repetitive but this is the kind of stuff that I saw we might hear about on Tuesday. This is like the exact line that I thought we might hear on Tuesday. So I want to note, May 7th, while it is an investors meeting, they may not say a damn thing because they don't have to because they already talked to investors about it. So... Behind the scenes, Nintendo has publicly now admitted that they talked to their investors about their next game's console and the business impact of hardware transition. Folks, Nintendo is in the middle of a transition. That's what's going on right now. They are transitioning right now. Now, is that transition going to end up being March of 2025? Is it going to be summer of 2025? Look, it's not like we know exactly when the system's going to come out, but it must be on the horizon. It must be coming fairly soon because otherwise Nintendo wouldn't have had all these private meetings with 400 plus people to let them know about their new system and about how transitioning to it is going to impact their business. Nintendo would not need to tell them that if the following calendar year, the 
they weren't about to do it. I always say, if Nintendo was not planning to release the platform this calendar year, then this is the year they would have those private individual meetings about the hardware and about transitioning to the next generation. The fact they did that in the prior calendar year, or when I say calendar year, we mean fiscal year, that just tells me that Nintendo is planning to launch the system this fiscal year. That's my reading of it. You guys let me know how you interpret it. I don't know how you can interpret it any differently. Folks, Nintendo has, well, not here's not essentially, they have now confirmed the next game console is coming. They have now confirmed that they are working on the transition for it. And beyond that, that was all within fiscal year of April 23 through March of 24 is when they did all that with their investors sometime in that time period, probably probably in this last three months, to be honest, because, again, they don't put out these corporate governance things very often. So it probably happened sometime in the last few months. And now here we sit, just twiddling our thumbs, waiting for Nintendo to make a public announcement. This is the sort of thing we thought Nintendo would do Tuesday. Turns out they already did it at the end of March, and it went unknown. It went unchecked because Nintendo didn't make some big public announcement that they posted this out there. They are required to put this out there due to other investors in the company that maybe didn't get to attend these meetings, so they're aware that this stuff took place, but they are not required to post publicly to advertise it. And they didn't. So since Nintendo didn't publicly advertise this, this flew under the radar. Shout out to Nintendo Forecast for discovering this, checking every single hyperlink on the Nintendo IR website. This is awesome. This is amazing. You guys are amazing as well. And we'll catch you in the next video.